Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Doom. Right, so we just sent two of our uh, tribes away to basically collect equipment. Now, I believe they had also uh, also had a sizable number of troops. Uh, but I need to double check. Ah, the prospectors are here. Well, I'll just give them new orders then. We are the spice prospectors. We are the spice prospectors. Show me three sieges where you want me to go next. Now I want you to go there. I I can't really interrupt what they're doing, but I don't have to give them three orders per se. We are the spice prospectors. And you. How many troops do you have? Asked to do spice mining, but can't. May I show you the characteristics? Yeah, of plenty of men. Can I make you search for equipment? We've been asked to do spice mining, but can't start it right now. I don't think I can find the spice harvester available in all of the places around here. All right, no more orders then. Now what I'm doing is not necessarily the most efficient, uh, especially considering the spice density in the in the sieges over here, which is. Bizarrely low, but basically I want these completely dry of spice before I move them on to the next area. Since we are not really pressed for time just yet, I know it makes more sense to move them to richer areas such as this, or even these two here below. But for now, it's fine what they're doing. Anyway, now we can go back home. There. Well, we haven't really found any se many sieges just yet. All right, Duncan. Here are our current stocks of spice. That's nice. You can notice that yesterday our spice production was better than the day before. All right. Do remember that spice. All right, nothing new. Um, Jessica. I'm doing my best to help you, Paul, but sometimes you Alright, that's you just what she says, and she has nothing to say to you. Let's, uh... Let's save for a moment. Nothing special about us just yet. And... Where is everybody? Uh, there's someone at the balcony. Oh, hi, Father. This is my favorite room in the palace. Look, Paul. Look at those dunes. What a sight. A person needs new experiences. They jar something inside, allowing you to grow. Without changes, something sleeps inside us and seldom awakens. The sleeper must awaken. I like that this speech is in the game. It's a very powerful moment between uh, Paul and his father in the books. Of course, I don't really uh, agree with the emphasis that the Duke had here, but still. Have you seen the message in the communication here? Oh, no. Let's go check it out. sent you to Dune to extract spice. So make the necessary arrangements. I will call you again very soon for the first shipment. You know, I know spice is very important in the scheme of the entire universe. But why is the Emperor himself asking for it directly? I mean, I, I know it's necessary for the game to give us an emotional attachment to what he is asking. But it seems like such menial labor for an emperor of the entire universe. Anyway, Duncan, do you have anything to say You've about seen that? Seen the emperor's message? Well, our spice production has to be increased. Yes, indeed. This Fremen from Tuono Tabor, 
the one who gave us the still suits. He told me about an area rich in spice. Mm -hmm. Here are our current stocks of spice. All right, that's fine. Don't need to know more about that. Let's go back to Turono Tabar then. Select destination Tuono Just keep Tabar. going to Tuono Tabar because it's such a nice place to go. Right, what can you tell me about the spice? Paul Atreides, you seem to be much interested in spice. Well, no wonder. It would mean the lives of me and my family depend on it. If we don't give enough spice to the Emperor, they come and kill us with his solder car. Yes, I've been told of vast spice fields in the south. Take your horny and fly due southeast. Before reaching the rocky area, you'll find Fremen. We're doing spice mining. Our ability is increasing. May I show you the characteristics of my troop? No, that's fine. Right. Do southeast. And now we can enjoy Dune by Dawn. As the nice sun hits the countryside. And we can enjoy another doom. Yeah, it almost feels like you're uh, flying over waves. Not entirely sure why the only thought that is taking such a zigzag pattern since we are apparently are still going in a straight line. So either these dunes must be huge, and we can't really fly any higher, or we're just really uh, skimming over the surface. Oh well, at least the Ornies look better than the Orni they had in the f in the movie because that looked like crap. That basically just looked like a box with very small wings. At least the harvesters look nice in the movie, I think. It looks like a siege there on the left. It's been a while since I've seen it. Right, a siege. It's not a big one. Ooh, there's someone here. Hora. I've heard about you, Paul Atreides. You were misinformed. All the people have left. Aw, that's a pity. I stayed here to mourn for my husband, Jameis. He died during a fight with a young man. But morning time comes to an end now. I have to live my life. Yes, indeed you do. Ah, the spice. Yes, the spice is easy to locate around here. And there's much more southwards. I know several siege locations. Well, you're proving to be much more useful than any of the other Fremen we've met so far. Hmm? Alright, come with me. Yes, Paul Atreides. I'm going with you, and I don't care what the people will say. Now we have another party member. Now, I have no opposition to Hara being in the game as it is. However, uh, she's playing a completely different party. For one thing, story-wise, it's Paul Atreides who kills her husband. And her name, Hara, is basically the Fremen word for war loot, I believe. So, which Paul gets after killing her husband. Now, he doesn't really do anything else with her, aside from learning more about the Fremen ways, I believe. Again, it's been a long time since I've read books, but... This feels slightly out of place. Basically, they just felt they had to put her in somewhere. And this was the best they could come up with. Um, I believe that the prospects were going to Tuono Hark. I hope they are done there. Let's skip the destination. Are you here, prospectors? You are not. Where are the prospectors? Hmm. 
Uh, Alright, then we go there. They're apparently not doing anything, so hopefully we don't miss them. No, they're still here. We are the spice prospectors. We have already been. Alright, so. We are the spice pro. Show me three sieges where you want me to go. Now I want you to go there, there, and there. Okay. And then we go look for those other uh, sieges. Select destination on Let's see, Habayana. Habanya Timin, rather. Almost said Habanera. No, no. Habanya, Habanya Timin. Timin. And we skip. Welcome to our siege. Well, that's very welcoming of you. Are you Paul Atreides? The voice from the outer world. That's just weird. A weird thing to say. Yes, I agree to let my troops work for you. All right then. We are awaiting your orders. May I show you the characteristics of mm. my troops? Nice number of men. Good motivation. The area has spice. to be prospected for spice. Have a look at the characteristics of my... Okay. Uh, can I ask you to look okay. for equipment? And they will. Because this siege has a, uh, a harvester in there. Uh, anyway, that's just fine. We'll take the Orni. Select and move to the next one over. Habanya Tuek. again because it's a very short flight. So here is this Paul Atreides we've heard about. These Fremen have interesting hairstyles, but they don't seem very practical. Yes, I agree to let my troops work for you. Alright then. My troop is awaiting your orders. Let me show you the statistics of my troop. Well not many men, but it will be enough for now. The area has to be prospected for... S Here are the characteristics of my troop. Okay. Alright, nothing more. Uh, modify equipment. Let me show nope. you... Okay. Change your occupation. Okay. Go search for equipment. And then take the Oni and move to the next siege. Habanya Tabar. Yeah, our spice mining empire is coming through fu coming to fruition. Soon the glorious Atreides Empire will rule all of Arrakis. We saw you coming from the other siege. Well, then you must have good eyes. Work for you? I don't see the point. That's disappointing. This Fremen chief is a little hard to convince. You should come back here again later. What's the point? He will just say no. Uh, but fine, we'll just leave. There's no real point in staying. Right, let's go back home. By now we should be making more than enough spice to meet any demand the Emperor makes, but we do have to keep checking in from time to time. Because we can very easily miss a message if we don't check in with the palace every now and then. Let's see, are there any messages? Nope. Paul, I don't think that I've told you about the worms. They are a danger to all spice mining. You'd think that was the thing you'd start with before coming uh, me, me with all this mining malarkey. Sandworms grow to an enormous size. Specimens longer than 400 meters have been seen in the deep desert and live to a great age. Worms attack all rhythmic vibrations. Such as the harvesters. Don't hesitate to regroup your troops in a place where there's much spice to mine. Mm -hmm. Here are our current stocks of spice. You can notice that yesterday our spice production was better than the day before. Oh, good. Do remember that spice is... Yeah, right. And... Now, I haven't talked about this book here. Basically, this is an uh, introduction to all the uh, things you can see on Dune. But... 
most of these have uh, slight movie clips from the David Lynch movie uh, to avoid any possible copyright entanglements I'll just ignore this but if you have this game yourself I'm not entirely sure where you could get it but you could see for yourself if it's interesting it's just basic information that the other characters are, are giving you anyway so it's not necessary but in case you have been taking long pauses between the games, you might want to check up on it. Father, are you still proud of me? Remember that now our most important task is to achieve good spice production. Indeed. Actually, that's the point. Let's go see the map for a moment. Let's see the results. Now, right now, we control 3% of the planet. Whilst the Arconans still have well, a fifth of the planet. Ah, our spice production isn't coming anywhere near theirs. And we only have a slight increase in manpower. This may seem like a lot, but we definitely are not anywhere close to actually touching them. Let's see the spice density for a moment. Spice hasn't actually decreased just yet. Um, I'll just leave them where they are for the moment. After all, my prospectors need time to uh, work things out. And where, where is Jessica? She's in the room again. Or still, rather. Oh, Paul with a girl. I knew this would happen. She's quite charming, but don't let her distract you from your goals. Seriously, woman? That's what you're concerned with. I just found a new friend on this planet immediately. You think I'm gonna boink her? Ah, women these days. So obsessed with sex. Walk out into the desert. Stay there for a while. Let it penetrate you. Mm. Spice is omnipresent on Dune. It may awaken your internal potential. But... You must go alone. This whole conversation makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable, considering what she just said. What she think I was doing with the girl. But never mind. She is my mother. She must know best. Alright then. Nice palace you have here. Thanks. You can stay here for a while. I'll stay here if I want to. You don't seem to know what you want. Follow me. Stay here. Sheesh. Ah, actor age. It's rather different here from the sieges we've been to, isn't it? What a keen observation, Gurney. As you wish, Paul. I'll stay here. And I'll just save for a moment. It's not really that... I do notice that our eyes are starting to get a little bit bluish. Right, let's go out to the desert. Away from the palace. It's advised you stay walking in one direction until you cannot see the palace anymore, but... Right, now we need to stay here a while, and then the screen will go all fuzzy. A message has arrived in the palace. Whoa, man! Acid trip. A message has arrived in the palace. Right, back to the palace then before we uh, dry out, I believe. And new messages. A shipment of spice today. All right. Here are our current stocks of spice. Plenty. You can notice that yesterday our spice production was better than the. The emperor asked for a spice shipment, didn't he? 
We can send him what he asked for, as we currently have enough spice in stock. Now, I, I sort of understand accept and refuse, but I don't understand what the button argue is for. But since we have what he wants... Okay, Paul. Let's go to the communication room at once and send this shipment to the Emperor. Right. Good. Let's go. The spice has been shipped. Now let's wait for the Emperor's reaction. We don't have to worry. We've sent what he asked. Mm -hmm. Ah, the answer has just come. Let's have a look at this message. All right. sent me the spice I've asked for good. You'll hear from me in five days. Alright, so on the 11th then. And that's where I'll leave it for now. I will see you all next time.